Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and to the best of beauty 2022. So this video will be all about my most loved products, products that I cannot live without. 2022 for me was the year of trying to use up pretty much products that I already had. Of course I did buy some new products, I fell in love with some new products. But right before I sat down, I watched through my 2021 favorites. So I will leave that video up here in the corner so you can check that out. I still love pretty much all of these. Nothing has changed. I have just added a few more products into my goodness, the pile of top favorites. So if you want to know who gets the Oscar for 2022 Best of Beauty, then please keep on watching. So what I decided to do different from this year is that I want to include skincare as well. So of course the Oscar goes to the So Skin Health by San Obagi. This is the Gentle Cleanser. Love it. This has been my favorite cleanser since I first tried it out, I would say three years ago, maybe two years ago right now. I use this every single night. I love it. It feels so good on the skin. It is very gentle as well. So if you are sensitive, this will be great for you. So every time I'm cleansing my skin with this one, it leaves it so glowy and beautiful. It feels so fresh afterwards and you can definitely see a huge improvement. So I had to mention this for the best of 2022. Then the serum that I cannot live without, the absolutely best serum that I have tried for my skin is from Dr. Babor and this is the Hydrocellular Hyaluron Infusion Serum. So this serum has a triple hyaluronic acid complex in it which really plumps up your skin. It gives you all the moisture that you ever need. So if you're dry, I would definitely recommend to check this out or if you are dehydrated as well and your skin feels a little bit oily, it might be that it is dehydrated and you need a ton of hydration. And this serum definitely changed my life, so I absolutely love it. I had a little bit of dehydrated skin, a little bit of oiliness going on, and when I started using this, the oiliness disappeared. I got normal skin, my skin feels so plumped and juicy and hydrated and I just cannot live without this. And in 2022 I actually got a new favorite moisturizer and that is the Jeffree Star Skin Hydrating Moisturizer. Just look at the packaging as well, absolutely love it. It is very heavy, feels very luxe, but what I love about this moisturizer is that it just gives my skin that perfect amount of hydration. So I use a different moisturizer at nighttime, but I love this, especially for the days that I'm wearing makeup. This just makes my skin look so good. It smells absolutely amazing. It smells like fresh strawberries. It has a thick consistency, but it kind of melts into the skin and it leaves it so plumped and hydrating. I kind of use this as a primer. Of course, it minimalizes my pore as well. So on the days where I'm not using this, my pores seems larger and on the days where I use this underneath my makeup everything looks so flawless like today I am obsessed as always I will leave all the products down below so you can just click on the link and go and check out the products for yourself but definitely do not sleep on these especially if you have normal to dry skin absolutely worth checking out Next up, I have another product from Jeffree Star, and this is the Holy Mist, the Soothing Facial Spray. This I always apply before I apply my foundation. So I spray it all over my face, I let it sit there for about five minutes before I'm going in with my foundation. This makes the foundation go on so smooth, absolutely love it, especially in combination with this moisturizer absolutely love 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 if you are a little bit dry and you spray this and you let it sit and when you go in with your sponge the spray will actually help the foundation blend more into the skin and it makes everything look like it's your skin but better the mist is also very fine on it and i absolutely love it i also use this try today if i feel like i am a little bit dry or i feel like my skin wants that extra hydration i keep one in my bathroom and i just spray it all over I love to spray this also at evening before I go to bed just to give my skin that little extra oomph. So definitely worth checking out. For primers, I have two. This one I fell in love with in 2021, so I already have talked about it. And this is my second one, so you probably can't tell that I love it. I'm almost running out of this one as well. I had to share it just because nothing has changed when it comes to primer. This is still my go-to, my everyday primer. It leaves my skin so glowy so beautiful and it just makes the makeup go on so well. 
And for a new primer that I found in 2022, it is the Invisible UV Flawless Poreless Primer from Charlotte Tilbury. So this is a primer that gives you a smoother looking skin. It also has UVB and UVA protection. It is approved for that as a sunscreen, which is great, especially for the warmer months when it comes to the summer. I would definitely check this out. If you are on the hunt for a primer, you do have some large pores. You want something that smooths and blurs, but you also want that protection i would definitely be sure to check it out so that was the two primers that i have been loving for 2022 so 2022 was the year where i found my new holy grail foundation and that is of course the nars light reflecting foundation i'm sure you guys have heard everybody talk about this this were on everybody's lips for 2022 and it is so good that i definitely know why everybody's talking about it i have actually bought multiple bottles in multiple colors just because i love it so much i cannot live without this it is a skincare infused foundation it has medium coverage it looks gorgeous on the skin it is not making you look very dewy but it leaves you with a luminous finish that i'm just loving absolutely worth checking out this is like one of the best foundations i've ever ever tried and that is a huge statement because i own over 60 foundations every time i see a new foundation i try it out i've tried pretty much almost everything and i feel like this is the 10 out of 10 the absolute best but I also wanted to mention these because I tried them out in 2022. They are good foundations, but I feel like the NARS one is a tad better. The first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This I love. I love how it makes my skin look. This will be a great foundation, especially if you are oily. I'm sure you will love it. If you are a full coverage, flawless makeup girl, this will be your jam. I love the finish of this foundation. I also love how it makes my skin look. I love how it lasts. The only thing that is putting me a little bit off is that it can be a tiny, tiny, tiny amount drying, especially around my smile lines. And also the color, I picked up the number natural seven and the color is way too orange for me. So I have to blend it out with other foundations to make it work. So therefore I'm not giving this a 10 out of 10, but it is a close nine out of 10. And the last foundation that I want to mention just because it is a good one is the Dior Natural Nude. I really love this. If you're somebody who doesn't want a medium to full coverage foundation, you want a light to medium coverage, and you want something that looks very fresh, very natural on the skin, this will be your go-to friend. So therefore I wanted to mention it because I know I have a lot of followers that is not very into full-on glam, full coverage foundations. If I want to even up my skin tone, if I want everything to look a little bit more flawless, this actually leaves my skin very well. I was impressed. I thought the coverage would be a little bit less, but it actually covers up a lot. You can build this up to a medium coverage, I would say. You can still see a little bit of the redness going through, but it is absolutely a stunning foundation. This would be perfect if you're dry or normal to combo skin absolutely ones worth checking out as well so these were all the foundations that i really fell in love with in 2022 but this is by far like mm, this is perfection so for concealers i have one new to mention and then we have last year's favorite as well just because this is one of the best i've ever tried and this is the dior skin correct concealer as you can see, this has been used and abused. There's barely anything left in the tube. So one thing that I really enjoy about this concealer is that it has a very big applicator. This gives you a perfect coverage. It looks very good on the skin. It is not drying, so it doesn't settle into fine lines. And I'm just very impressed with it. If you want something that covers up everything, this will be your best friend. This is the Joer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. I love this. I love the coverage. I love how it looks. The only thing is that it can be a tiny amount drying, especially in this fine line that I have going on here. And that makes me not want to love it as much as this one, but I still love it. I use it every time I want that flawless, full coverage glam. It is a beautiful concealer and it also has that large applicator as well. And I just love it. I feel like this is the concealer. If you have very dark under eyes, if you have anything that you want to cover up, 
This is even more covering than this one and this is just stunning. The only thing is that it is a tiny amount drying which makes me a little bit sad and therefore I have to give 10 points to this one and 9 to this just because of that but I feel like these are very similar except that this has a little bit more coverage and this has a little bit more hydration. Next up I have a product from Huda Beauty and this is the Tantor Cream Bronzer and I am obsessed with this. First time I tried it out I loved it. I knew this was gonna make it into this video because I just love it so so much. In 2021 the Chanel Cream Bronzer got my heart but when I tried this out it immediately kicked out my Chanel cream bronzer. This is a tad better, it blends better, the color is also better, and it just is so smooth, and it is so easy to blend out. You can apply it and just go over with a sponge, and everything just looks so seamless, so beautiful. You can never go wrong with this. I feel like this suits everybody, especially because it is very easy to blend out. It is very buttery, very creamy, and you don't have to like rub on it with a brush to blend it out and you get those red cheeks because it kind of takes up the product underneath. This one doesn't do that. I absolutely love it. We're checking out the Tantor from Huda Beauty is a huge favorite of mine. So if I were not to pick my Scott Barnes Sculpting and Contour Palette, I would have to give the price to Charlotte Tilbury. The Filmstar Bronze and Glow, it is a stunning stunning palette in my opinion. I am using this today as well so it is not often where I find a palette like this, a duo palette where I love both of the products equally. The bronzer in here has that perfect shade, it is perfect to contour, it is perfect to just go over your face and give your face an all over bronze. It has a little bit of a luminous sheer finish, it is not like a one dab and go product, you have to build this product up but it looks absolutely stunning when you do. So the highlighter in here doesn't look like much when you swatch it, you feel like mm, very subtle but very buttery and creamy. It just gives you that very natural glow from within, a very healthy glow. I absolutely love this highlighter. So if you are somebody who doesn't like a very beaming glowing highlighter, you will love this one. So in 2022, I did a first impression of Charlotte Tilbury products. I will definitely leave that link up here so you can check that out if you want to see my first impressions and reaction on all of these products. But this is definitely a go-to product. I use it every single day when I do my makeup. And this is the one I bring on vacation because I love it so much. So the one product that I fell back in love with in 2022 was the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Tan and I love this. So I have talked about this product on my channel before. I used to love this and I decided to try it once again in 2022 and I actually fell in love. It is such a beautiful bronzer. It goes on like butter. It blends so well and I love this color. This is in the shade medium tan. So if you are my skin tone, a little bit fair, this will be a perfect bronzing shade for you. But if you are more tan, you can definitely get a deeper shade. So one thing about this is that you do have to build it up because it is a mineralized face powder. It is very sheer, very natural. It goes on very nice. But you do have to build it up to the intensity that you want so it's not just one dab and go but absolutely worth checking out. It is a stunning stunning powder but it is also a stunning bronzer. Then I also have another Charlotte Tilbury product because 2022 were the year where I tried out a lot of her products. So this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Absolutely love it. I love how it makes my skin look. And this is just a stunning powder that is worth checking out if you want to splurge on a very good powder. The shade that I have is number two medium. I would definitely get this in light and also in dark because I want to add this into my makeup kit as well. Every time I use this product, I know that I'm gonna have a good skin day. My skin is gonna look flawless and that is something I really love about this one. So this is the product that I grab on the days where I want that flawless, full-on glam, for setting powder, you guys probably knew that this was gonna come. So this is the Sensei Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Absolutely love this. I've used this for so many years and I still continue to go back to it. So what I really love about this powder is that you get this sponge as well, which leaves your skin so flawless. When you apply the powder with this sponge, everything just looks seamless, flawless. There is not any pore visible whatsoever. I love this. It is very finely milled. 
I also love the color of this. I know it is called translucent, but I feel like it has that little yellow undertone. So I have forever been a true fan of this powder. I think this will always be in my collection. This doesn't dry out my skin whatsoever. It leaves my skin looking flawless. It minimalizes the pores. It erases everything that I want to erase and I just love this. For a blush, I have two products that I had to mention because both of these are equally beautiful. So the first product, you guys know that I love this formula and this is the MAC Extra Dimension Blushes. But this year I tried out a new color and I am obsessed with this. So this is in the shade Hard to Get. So as I've said so many times, I love this formula because it feels buttery, it glides onto your skin. Absolutely worth checking out. It is the blush that I'm wearing today. So as you can see, it is more like a bronzed color because this blush has that coppery brown undertone. So it is not like a pink or red. It is just the perfect blush. I cannot talk enough about these blushes from MAC. I love them. So when I tried this new color, I absolutely fell in love. So definitely worth checking out. And then I also fell back in love with the NARS blushes. So this is in the shade Deep Troth, which are my favorite color. So this blush has a more peachy pinky undertone. One thing I love about the NARS blushes is that they are not fading on my face throughout the day. A lot of blushes I feel like I apply. One hour goes by and the blush is almost gone. The NARS blushes don't do that for me, which I am very, very happy about. I also love a bunch of their colors, but my favorites are the Deep Throat, but I also love the Orgasm, but I feel like that is very overused. Everybody is loving it. Everybody's talking about it. I also love that these are not completely matte. They do have a satin finish, but they're not as luminous as the MAC ones, so definitely worth checking out as well. So when it comes to eyeliners, I did discover finally a felt tip liner that I love. And this is from YSL, and this is the Eyeliner Effect Faux Seal. I love the applicator on here because it is very sharp, very pointy. And I also love that this tip is a little bit hard, so it is easy to apply. Sometimes I feel like liners like these have a way too bendable tip. So when you do it, it kind of jumps around and it can easily get very messy, especially if you're not a pro at applying a liner. So this does definitely have a more sturdier tip. It is easier to apply. And I also love that you can apply both your eyes with this without having to put a cap on, having to shake it like crazy because it dries out. This is one of the best I've ever tried when it comes to felt tip liners. So for mascaras, the Oscar goes to the Jeffree Star F Proof Mascara. I love it because it is not transferring, it is not smudging, it lasts all day, it doesn't budge, it stays on, you can even cry and your lashes will look good. One thing that makes me judge the mascara is that how it lasts throughout the day, if it does transfer and also how it is to get off. This mascara just gets off so easily with makeup remover and I absolutely love it for that. I love how it lasts. I also love the wand on here. Easy to apply, especially for your lower lash lines and it's very easy to get all the way into the inner corners. So I absolutely love this mascara. I will be buying a new one when I run out of this. I would definitely also try the colorful ones. This you can build up in multiple layers as well. So this was the one mascara that actually stood out for me in 2022. So for eyeshadows, I have two palettes that I want to talk about. I am still using the Jeffree Star Orgy palette. I am using the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl palette. I'm also using the Snatchel palette from Scott Barnes every single time I'm doing my makeup almost. This is by far my number one most used palette for 2022, the Cinnamon Swirl palette. I love the consistency of the shadows in here. I love how buttery the shimmery shades are and I love that you get a ton of neutral everyday colors. So this is the palette I use for work. This is the palette I use whenever I don't know which look to create. I grab this palette because I have a ton of go-to shades in here. I just had to mention this in this year's video as well. But for a new palette that I totally used a lot in 2022 was the Crowley Bible palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I have used this palette a lot, a lot in 2022. As you can see, I've hit pan. And this is probably 
my third palette I've ever hit pan on a shade and that is the shade Bare. I love this shade so so much for setting my eyelids it is the perfect undertone for my eyelids so this is also a palette that I have been grabbing on a daily when I don't know what look to create because it has so many beautiful everyday shadows I love the shimmers in this a little bit more than I love the matte ones so as you can see the shimmery shades in here are so creamy and beautiful as well couldn't just mention the same palettes that I mentioned last year so I wanted to throw in a new palette I'm not sure if you can get your hands on this still but hopefully you can I love it so much I also had to mention the body bling from Scott Barnes I love this product so this is a shimmery moisturizing body lotion and it has a color in it it comes in three different colors and I am obsessed I definitely want to get the two others as well I feel like this is such a great product especially in the days where your tan is rubbing off you can just take a little bit rub it all over your hands and you look put together it is a very lightweight cream as well and as you can see it is like a highlighter you can actually mix this out with a body lotion if you don't want it to be as intense so i had to mention this just because we are soon getting to spring and summer and it is always great to have a product like this in your collection for the days when you want to bronze up a little bit more you want your body to look shimmery and glowy and juicy so this is definitely worth checking out i absolutely love this product so for lashes i of course had to mention my own lash brand just because i love these so much i'm not wearing any other lashes after I started my beauty brand so if you see me wear a beautiful pair of lashes it is always Levy Beauty because why would I wear some other brands when I can just wear my own so the first style that I have been loving in 2022 is called lifestyle these are the perfect go out glam on night kind of lashes these are very full very wispy so this is a style for those who loves a full-on glam makeup look that wants that little something extra to their look. And then the other pair that I have been loving is a little bit more everyday, but they are also stunning. And these are the Tiffany lashes. So these have a round shape, which means that they are the longest in the middle of the lash. If I want a pair that never disappoints me, if I want something that I know looks good, I always go for these if I'm not going out and I just want a little bit extra because they are so stunning. So that was my favorite pair of lashes. We're going to finish up this video strong by talking about the lip products that I cannot live without, products that I love. And the first one I'm going to mention are lip liners. You guys know I love the Jeffree Star lip liners. I love the MAC lip liners. So the first lip liner that I had to mention is my trusted celebrity skin from Jeffree Star. This is the nude color that I always go to if I want something nude and I'm not sure which color to grab. I always grab the celebrity skin just because it has that perfect kind of nude. It has a little bit of pink but it also has a little bit of brown so it is just the perfect nude in my opinion. If I want something that goes with pretty much every single nude color that I have in my collection. So next up we have Beat, which is a MAC lip pencil. I love this color. I pair it with pretty much all my red lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. I love this because it has a little bit of that burgundy undertone. It is a little bit darker. It is not like a bold bright red. If you want to create an ombre effect with a red lipstick, definitely be sure to check out this color. It is a perfect color, especially for winter and fall. Absolutely love it, but it goes so well for summer and spring also because it is a bold color without being too bold because it is a little bit more burgundy. Absolutely love it. So this was called Beat. And then last, when it comes to lip liner, we have Strip Down, which is one of my favorite brown lip liners. This is more on the lighter side. I also love a shade called Cork, which is a little bit more like a chocolate brown. This is more like a nudish brown and I absolutely love it. I feel like this also goes very well with pretty much all nude colors. One of my go-tos when I want a nude lip. So these absolutely worth checking out. So when it comes to lipstick, I only have one to share with you guys and that is the L'Oreal Color Rich Shine in the shade Beige in the City. So it was Tati that introduced me to this color. It has a little bit of that peachy nude tone with a little bit of brown, a little bit of orange I would say. And it is just a stunning color and as you can see it goes very well with the Celebrity Skin Lip Liner. 
So this has been one of my go-tos and I love the formula as well because it is a little bit creamy, it is not as drying and it looks very beautiful on the lips and it also lasts very long. So the liquid lipstick that gets the award of 2022 is the Dose of Color A Mavi Story. This was a limited edition color which makes me so sad. So I'm always on the hunt for something like this. So this, in my opinion, is like the perfect nude. It is the perfect pinkish nude. I am obsessed with this. So if I find some similar color, I would definitely let you know because I am obsessed. I use this all the time. I also have a red lipstick because you guys know I love a good red lip and it has been actually so long since I last did. And this is the Dior Addict and this is in the shade 976. And this is my favorite kind of red color. This gives me so many emotions like I get so happy about this color. It is red but it is a little bit more on the berry side. It reminds me a lot about fresh strawberries, fresh cherries. So when I am looking for a bold red I always go for one with a blue undertone because it will not make your teeth look yellow. I also feel like it is the perfect red for my skin tone because it has a little bit of that berry shade. It is a stunning 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 red and I love it so much. So this was 976 from Dior. Then the last two products that I'm going to mention today are lip glosses. So of course I had to put in my own brand Levy Beauty. It is so pigmented, so buttery, it is not sticky whatsoever and the color, the color is just to die for. As you can see here, it is that perfect, perfect nude. I've always wanted to have a gloss in this color. It is so stunning, so beautiful, absolutely love it and this is called Success. And then last but not least, I also wanted to mention something that was not my brand. This is the gloss from Jeffree Star. It is more of a sheer gloss and this is in the shade Control Freak and it is such a stunning gloss as well. As you can see, the Levy Beauty one is a lot more pigmented, so it gives you a lot of pigment. You don't have to wear something underneath, but the Jeffree Star glosses are a little bit more glossy, but they are a little bit more sheer. And with that, we are wrapping up the Best of Beauty 2022. I can't believe I actually made it. My throat hurts so much. I'm so hungry. I've been here for hours. As always, all the products mentioned will be linked down below if you want to check anything out for yourself. Before you go and click out of this video, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know your favorite product from 2022. What was the product you used the most? What was the product you loved the most? It can be all from lifestyle to beauty to fashion. It doesn't have to be only makeup related. I would love to know your favorites. And also if you want to see a lifestyle 2022 favorites, then be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know. I feel like the beauty videos are not getting as much views as they did, but I also feel like a lot of you guys always ask me to do them so let me know down below what you want to see more of in 2023 and without further ado I love you guys so so much and I will see you in my next one bye guys Mwah.